Obaseki salute Bende Insurance for the NNL Super 4 champion. Se ogonge yafun yafu alawi and Bende Insurance Stadium go soon shele. Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki don't salute the management, players and supporters of Bende Insurance team sake of the ogonge win for the Nigerian National League NNL Super 4 tournament. Inago remember se Bende Insurance FC don't become champion for NNL Nigerian National League after then defeat Doma United FC for Gombe State for finals. Obaseki on Thursday for the presentation of the Nigerian National League trophy by Bende Insurance FC, because the promise says sake of this win, it go increase their salaries and other match benefits, give them new boss, build new stadium, we go include hostel for them and other Ogbon get things for them. Obaseki we control we salutes give the deputy governor, right honorable comrade Felicia Ebu, and in team for waiting they don't do for the team, because the talks the government go continue to support them and to get Ogbon get partners we go invest. When we were campaigning for this job in 2016, we made certain promises. We said we were going to go bring back sports and bring back Edo State to its days of glory in sports, when the whole country looked up to us as leaders in sports. We've accomplished quite a lot for sports in Edo State. A lot of people may not understand, but everything starts from governance. The first thing we did was to say we have to change the way sports is governed in Edo. We introduced a sports commission. We removed it from the ministry so that we have a body that just deals exclusively with sporting matters, and they report directly to the governor. Two, we now said, let us build the infrastructure for sports, because you can't play sports without the infrastructure to do so. We refurbished the Samuel Bermuda Stadium. We've built 20 mini stadia across the state, and we also identifying other facilities whether they are federal or local, like the federal facilities, like Chapler Road and the Fuse Camp, to see how we can bring them up to date so that we have venues where sporting activities can be held. And then, lastly, you can't have sports without sportsmen. We now said, working with the Ministry of Education, let us now make sure that sports is a vital component of our curriculum in schools so that we can begin to catch sports men and women at a very early age. These are the things we've, some of the things we've done to try and reposition Edo as the number one sporting state in this country. We thank God that we're on our way there. This presentation this morning of the trophy that has now elevated Bendel Insurance to where it truly belongs the MPFL is a clear testimony and evidence that the work that the Deputy Governor and his team have been you know, putting in is now beginning to show. <laughs> He's been so passionate about the Bendel Insurance and the Do Queen. There's no week, no month, he lets me rest. He you know, comes up with their files. XYZ is due, we have to travel here, we have to pay our bonuses. And when you see somebody, a leader, who is passionate about the, what he believes in, I think it makes the work very easy. You have done your own bit. At least you have shown that Bendel Insurance is coming back to where it truly belongs. But we are not there yet we still need to do a lot. But because you have done your own, we as government must continue to support and encourage you. We must begin to look at how to build a permanent stadium for you. And hostels and other facilities for camping you. that we will work with the 
Deputy Governor to make sure we commence immediately after the budget is passed. In terms of remuneration, now that you have in the league, the MPFL league, it only follows that your remuneration should be adjusted, isn't it? So I will work with the Deputy Governor so that your dues, your rightful dues, are now given to you. I'm sure all of us will go back and continue watching the World Cup matches. Excited, but disappointed that we are not there. We pray that this is the last time that there will be a World Cup and Nigeria will not qualify. Because I can see some of you working hard and playing in the next World Cup. And I'm sure watching the World Cup, one thing is clear, just like with the Premier League, it's all driven by big money, by sponsorships. For us to sustain what we're doing and where we want to go to, we cannot continue to rely on government. Our goal is to present you to the world, show how good you are, so that businesses, corporates, now begin to invest in you and in Bednell Insurance. That means we must drive more sponsorships. And we have plans to do so, but you also have to help by making sure that you retain your position in the league and aspire to become you know, the number one club in the league. I know you are going to be traveling a lot this season, and we have to ease you know, the, the pain and the risk in you traveling. So, we are going to be buying you a new bus. But you are not going to be traveling alone. Do you normally go alone? Who goes with you? So, the supporters club will also get their own bus. Deputy Governor for Edo State, Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibu, can't talk, say, the club done the consistency they rebranded them for four years ago. Say, the Obaseki government don't do well for the club and sports for Edo. Your Excellency, then the assurance is back to where they belong, MPFL. Mr. Governor, you remember you gave the tax to your deputy, Philip Shaibu, and in turn, I also gave the tax back to the management of vendor insurance and the coach that the governor has given us a tax so and the tax i'm passing it back to you and the tax is to build a very strong football team for now tomorrow and the future not a team that is just for the politics or for just to shine for today and without being consistent that the emphasis is not just winning, but the emphasis is to have a very strong, formidable team that also will be attractive to private sector to invest, because that is the only way we can have sustainability. So in doing that, we need to adopt a system where we are known for a particular type of football that is attractive, that is consistent. So how you want to do it, too, I don't know, but this is the tax the governor has given us. And in doing that, we need to be in the number one league in Nigeria. That is where we actually belong, because we have the likes of Rangers International, we have now Enyimba, and we have three SEs is also back to MPFL. We have Academy and others. Vendor insurance have no business in the lower league. So for us to be able to do what the governor has asked us to do, we need to be in the elite league. Mr. Governor, we've been struggling to have that. But one thing that has been consistent, the government has been consistent with its own parts. In terms of kitting this club, insurance is the best in terms of kit management. Insurance is the best presently in Nigeria. Mr. Governor, insurance is the only club in Nigeria, including states that have big money. Insurance is the only club in Nigeria that does not owe its players. As we speak, for the past four years, we have been consistent. We have never owned our player. And Mr. Governor also, just like your approvers, 
we have also not owned any of them. They are match bonuses, whether draw, winning, all their bonuses are paid as they play the matches. In fact, it's an incentive for them to win because by the time they win, they are sure of an alert <laughs> on their phone. And that also is an incentive that we have been consistent with for the past four years. I use four years because when you gave us the mandate six years ago, we have to, we use the first year to understand what was happening. The second year, we have to now rebrand Bendesha. Since that rebranding, Mr. Governor, that you launched in the small festival, hall, we have been consistent with our game. Now we are in MPFL. The implication is that we want to target Continental. So we don't want them also to get to win Continental. And that will be the first time they are leaving the shore of Nigeria to play international matches. So we have already started exposing them to both national and international matches. So they've been in Badagri. And after this meet with you, they're actually returning back to camp in preparatory to the uh, to MPFL season. So, Mr. Governor, we are happy that we have delivered, and by the grace of God, Mr. Governor, we are not there yet. We are still work in progress, and the next step, just like we have said, is for us to be number one, but sustainable number one, but the target is not really winning only, but to have a formidable team that can sustain itself and insurance by the grace of God will not return to where we pick it from, but it will grow from glory to glory. Oluwa Tobi Odeshola, TMC TV News. Make you now remember, say your PVC now your power. No go sell your vote. Give any politician or political party on election day.